Hello friends, this is Dr. Arvind Sato and uh, today I am uh, presenting topic clipping words in English. So as we have seen different uh, processes, word formation processes to develop the vocabulary, it is one of the processes that will be helpful to develop our vocabulary. So let us see how uh, these words are made or generated uh, by clipping. What is clipping? Clipping is nothing but uh, shortening the multi or polysyllabic words uh, uh, by clipping the some part of the longer words. For example, it may be a, a initial part or uh, final part or some complex uh, kind of thing uh, some part in the initial and at the final simultaneously or some uh, other kind of things even so we'll see uh, for example here you see uh, on the screen photograph so in photograph we have a photo and graph uh, is a part that is uh, clipped the final part so we have another thing as a telephone where you see the things and in influenza so see here uh, i have cleared that we have uh, uh, three types uh, prominent types like initial final and uh, both type of clipping so this uh, in the photograph uh, we have a final or back clipping we may say even so at the back we clip some part so it's a back clipping and in a telephone we uh, cut the initial part and uh, of course uh, remains the phone so normally we use phone instead of a telephone every time and here we frequently used a photo instead of full photograph so please give me your photo or um, a photo is an essential thing for application like that so uh, third one is influenza so in influenza uh, in this process we normally call flu so uh, initial and final part is normally reduced or clipped and the remaining part flu is conventionalized uh, in this process of clipping it is very important thing to remember uh, while clipping the meaning of the word the remained word uh, never changes so it remains it retains as it is uh, in both forms in reduced form clipped form or original longer form so mostly it is shortened uh, forms are used in speech and in informal context but you can easily uh, use it in formal as well as in writing also uh, if you are um, reading the news in newspapers uh, you many times come across the word like varsity so it's for university we'll see so in this process uh, i was working on the theory of leona tell me and then i realized this word leona uh, Leonard is uh, reduced in this way so it's Len tell me so Leonard becomes Len after the process of clipping uh, you may say it's a complex clipping it's neither initial nor final clipping but nor both final and initial part but it's a complex uh, the final part and some medial uh, oval uh, or later uh, that we have flipped and then we come up with a new reduced form uh, known as len 
so in english we have many such words uh, actually in uh, uh, american english mostly they uh, reduce many of the uh, nouns and uh, of course there are some other nouns where um, from the william uh, its nickname becomes bill but there are different things and if you are interested in this conventionalization of or uh, the, these type of uh, proper names then you may look uh, for the resources so another is ronal and it becomes ron and elizabeth is a, a noun which is cited frequently uh, it becomes leads or if you wish to address um, uh, a girl uh, named as uh, Eliza then Lisa so that is the address uh, one can make so again we have a relations like grandmother grandfather and others like brother sister and others and this grandmother becomes grandma and grand uh, grandfather becomes grandpa and brother becomes bro and sis for the sister so uh, as a proper names we also reduce uh, our relational terminology uh, for the by the clipping process then we have some professions you know we have a doctor professor doctor becomes doc and professor becomes prof so there may be some other professions where we make clippings uh, you just write these words in the comment box if you come across a different uh, type of these clippings so next we have uh, facsimile that is fact uh, becomes facts so these words c and s these letters that is k and s k s so they just uh, take another form so then we have our, uh, nowadays currently we are using robo so it, it becomes boat for robot and um, cycle for bicycle so uh, it's another uh, contemporary words like cell phone so normally people use cell by clipping the final part then mobile phone give me your mobile so normally we call mobile not mobile phone then we have a bike for motorbike and we have auto normally uh, das auto for example so this car but uh, automobile in general uh, we reduce mobile and it remains auto so yeah in indian context even we uh, call auto rickshaw and then auto so uh, here we have a telephone so uh, we uh, use phone and for refrigerator it becomes fridge so normally uh, the reduced portion never changes but here we see some change so i looked for the spelling and i found that we have different three kind of spellings for fridge that is f r i g fridge then f r i g e fridge and the last one fridge here i have already written with the letter d in between so actually um, after clipping it became uh, it remains fridge but uh, for uh, to conventionalize with the words like age uh, and lodge uh, these words uh, ends with dge even knowledge so uh, for that matter these uh, writers or printers or lexicographers they added this the sound or t letter so it becomes fridge so next we have a specs a specs for uh, spectacles 
and it's always plural so this um, plural marker remains there then we have photo for photograph and demo uh, derived from demonstration so uh, we have again the word like uh, laboratory uh, that is lab advertisement that is uh, ad and influenza i have already discussed we'll see we'll see some more examples here we have mathematics and uh, i found the spellings like math and math, uh, maths both math uh, and maths uh, after reducing or after clipping the longer polysyllabic word mathematics again we have uh, same kind of words but uh, some uh, people uh, try to reduce uh, these subject names like for example we have uh, microbiology so here people sometimes uh, call micro so micro cannot be uh, a good way uh, of uh, clipping rules because we have different words like microeconomics microorganism and my, uh, microbiology and other things so this micro uh, is a kind of prefix we may say for smaller things and uh, if you are in a, a particular context where there is no another subject uh, then uh, it may uh, you may say like that but normally you cannot call micro for microbiology then we have a university so it remains varsity and it's uh, absolutely right word so we have introduction so we normally use intro for that and some compound words like science fiction we say sci-fi so sci-fi movies for example exam is a word where you can use it in plurals even exam and examinations uh, exam and exams for examinations then this cab word is interesting where uh, we think that this is the word but actually it is uh, clipped after the cabriolet and aeroplane uh, becomes plane after clipping then memo is a word actually derived from memorandum so thank you for watching there are <coughs> many a number of words uh, and uh, if you come across such words you just uh, write it in comments uh, i'm not uh, just uh, covering all these words after the clipping process but i have tried to show how these words will be helpful to us to use in our speech and even in writing so there is another process called uh, blending uh, we'll see in the next maybe in the next video how this blending process is also interesting innovative and helpful in your uh, our vocabulary development so thank you for patience watching this video thank you once again